Between the comments made by Ricky Pooj and Patrick Hoiberg, the continued progression of Pedri at Las Palmas, the contract renewal of Ansu Fadi, and talks about Lionel Messi's retirement, though that last one feels a little premature after what he did to Mallorca, the last few weeks have gotten me thinking about the future. It's a silly exercise and absolutely impossible to predict, but I thought it was time to go through the thought experiment of what Barcelona would look like in 2023, under the assumption that most of the current crop of veterans has moved on. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hi, I'm Dan Hilton, and this is the Barcelona Podcast YouTube Exclusive. Before we jump ahead to the summer of 2023, we should go back four years to the summer of 2016. From 2016 to now, 10 of the 23 players in that squad are still with the team, which does make predicting any mass amount of turnover impossible. The better idea may be to go out on a limb and hope that the team will get a lot younger and promote from within. In the summer of 2016, Danny Alves had left and the Calvary had arrived. Paco Acacer, Andre Gomes, Lucas Digne, Jasper Sillison, and Sami Umtiti. Plus, Denise Suarez had returned with a buyback. Javier Mascherano was still partnering Gerard Piquet, and MSN was still going to be terrorizing defenses for the next few years. A lot has obviously changed, and more will change. While I can't predict which players Barcelona will bring in over the next few seasons, I do have an explanation for the new names I picked. Alright, here goes nothing. Four years from now, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen will still just be 31, and Barcelona's starting goalkeeper. I want to say that he'd be splitting time with Iñaki Peña, who'll be 24 then, but the timeline just doesn't make sense, and I think Peña will want to be a starter somewhere else. It's not easy to guess the experienced backup goalkeeper that Barcelona will go for, so I'll play it safer and say that Arnaud Tenas, current 18-year-old Juvenal A keeper, could be the backup. It's not crazy to think that if Barcelona B do get promoted to the Segunda Division in the next two years, that Tenas can get the experience he needs there. Also 31 will be Sergio Roberto, who I can't imagine in any other jersey than Barcelona's until he's in the twilight of his career. Speaking of twilight, Busquets will be 34 in what I believe will be the last year of his Blagrana career. Between even Rakitic, Pique, Messi, and Luis Suarez, I think Busquets is the best bet to be the last man standing at the club. And while there are concerns about his mobility, I do want to double down on the belief that another manager not named Ernesto Valverde will be able to still get the best out of the club legend. Obviously still around will be Frankie de Jong, and I'm really hoping Artur, who will be 26 and 27 respectively and in their primes. The future of the team rests at their feet more than anybody in this list, and there is no reason why Barcelona would be willing to sell these two and their 400 million release clauses. The rest of the returners require some chances to be taken, and I could be wrong by January, or even this summer. For all his struggles this season, Antoine Griezmann will still only be 32 in 2023. In truth, it came down to Ousmane Dembele or Antoine Griezmann. If Suarez and Messi are retired, Dembele is sold, and Fatih will still only be 20 in 2023, that means that Griezmann will need to be the guy. At that time, Barcelona will have brought in another world-class attacker or two, but more on that in a few minutes. The real uncertainty here applies to the back line. Clement Langley will be 28, in his prime, and still be a starter. My gut and most reports say that Jean-Claude Tadebo won't be able to sit around and stall his development and will be starting elsewhere at that time. Obviously, another center back will be brought in in the next four seasons, but for our purposes, I'm going to make probably the craziest claim of this video and say that Samuel Umtiti will still be around and partnering Lang Lei. Two left-footed center backs may not be Barca's style, and the constant transfer rumors about Umtiti make me wary, but with PK gone, the spot is Umtiti's. The third center back could be Ronald Araujo who the club believes should continue to improve, though I don't know if the then 24-year-old will ever be a starting caliber center back at the camp, no. I predict that that season for him will be like Marc Bartra or Sergi Gomez before they left, a backup on Barcelona collecting trophies before the move for his prime years. Okay, I keep saying it, but the outside back spots are actually nearly impossible. Nelson Semedo will be 30 and Junior Ferpa will be 27. Musa Wage will be 25, and I'm putting my money on Emerson coming from Real Betis. As he spoke about this week, he'll be 24 then. With Sergio Roberto still in the mix, it's probably only smart to pick two of the four. While Furpo doesn't feel right at this moment in time, he's the only left back on this list, so he's the obvious choice. Emerson is already so promising at the age of 20, so I think he's the other pick, and Someda will have been sold to fund other reinforcements. I really think Sergino Des from Ajax, and I thought this before he committed to the US, is going to be a fantastic attacking fullback and has all the tools to eventually play for Barca if he continues on this trajectory. With what I set up, however, he'll be 23 in 2023 and looking to be a full-time starter somewhere. But you never know. And what about Juan Miranda? 
he still hasn't played for Schalke in the first part of his two-year loan. And Barcelona's history with loan deals tells me that something may not work out in the long run, unfortunately. Now let's head to the midfield. Barcelona will bring in other established players to replace Arturo Vidal and Rakitic. But since I don't have my crystal ball, I'm going to unwisely assume that 24-year-old Ricky Puj, 25-year-old Carlos Alenia, 21-year-old Pedri, and 20-year-old Iyash Mariba will be all getting minutes. Pedri could also be a left winger, though I think he'll be most effective as a midfielder as his body matures. Mariba is only 16 today, so he may not ever pan out the way he's expected to. But again, I'm being hopeful for this midfield. Since Barca usually like to reinforce with players from the Liga, think Rakitic, Jeremy Mathieu, or Arda Turan, I think Edu Esposito, a center midfielder who was born in Barcelona and is currently at Ibar, would be a cheaper addition sometime in the next few years, and he'll be just 27 in 2023. This does leave out Oriol Busquets, and unfortunately I'd like to remind you what I said about Juan Miranda, I don't trust these loan deals. That brings us to the front line. I've already slated in Griezmann and Fati as two of the forwards, and I'm not going to stretch too far for the other two. I know Latoro Martinez from Inter Milan is being linked with Barcelona this week in particular, but I do think he would be affordable once some of those other salaries are off the books. Martinez is not as good as Luis Suarez was in his prime, and that's okay. And that's why I think the other forward alongside Griezmann and Martinez, with 20-year-old Fati getting plenty of time, will be Neymar. I may disagree with it, but the current board is dead set on bringing the Brazilian back to the Camp Nou, and he'll be 31 in 2023, just certainly not over the hill yet. The injury-prone winger's inability to stay on the field will afford plenty of playing time to Fati, and in theory, wouldn't stunt his development. I know I didn't mention Alvaro Ruiz, but even in 2023, he'll be 23, so he may still be out on loan or a player that Barcelona is watching for a buyback with, a la Denis Suarez. I mentioned them before, but by 2023, expect to see other youngsters like left-back Alejandro Balde or Schuss Alba in the Copa del Rey or preseason, if they haven't left the club. Schuss is a tough name to say because there are so many talented midfielders in La Masia that any one of them has a shot, but they will both be 20 and the perfect age to be playing for Barcelona B and getting looks in training. Balde is the safer pick though, due to the lack of left-backs both in La Masia and in this future squad that I built. So there you have it. 13 of the 25 names I gave are currently in the first team, up from the 10 four seasons ago. This was an impossible task, and predictions are meant to be wrong. Heck, this could be wrong less than a month when the January window opens, but hopefully it's a reminder that things change awful fast in football, and things will go double speed when it's time to say thank you to a certain Argentine. All that said, at this point four years ago, Fati and Pedri were 13-year-old kids, Arthur was playing for Grêmio B, Frankie de Jong was playing for Ajax's U21s, and Neymar was going to be the next talisman of Barcelona. This was a different video than we're used to here, but if you like what you saw, check out some of our other videos, and please like and subscribe. Until next time, Forza Barca!